Hello everybody and welcome to today's severe weather update. So today, uh, more severe weather threatens the central U.S. into the Midwest, where a slight risk of severe weather has been issued by the Storm Prediction Center from uh, Denver, Colorado, across uh, the central plains into the uh, Tennessee Valley and up towards Chicago in the yellow. And we have a marginal risk extending all the way from Colorado and New Mexico up through Wisconsin, Michigan, across the south into the Carolinas in the dark green. Now looking at today's tornado threat, uh, we do have the chance of a few isolated tornadoes today across the front range of Colorado and New Mexico, as well as portions of northwest Oklahoma, the northern Texas panhandle, and far southwestern Kansas in the green, including Denver, Colorado, Pueblo, Colorado, Liberal, Kansas, and Woodward, Oklahoma. So make sure you're on guard for a couple of isolated spin-up tornadoes today. If you live in this green area, looking at today's damaging wind threat, we have a 15% chance of damaging straight line winds extending from the eastern Rockies across the south central plains into Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois into Chicago in the yellow, and a 5% damaging wind risk in the brown from the Rockies through the south, southeast into portions of Wisconsin and Michigan. So make sure you're on guard for some scattered damaging wind gusts today if you live in the yellow and some isolated damaging wind gusts if you live in the brown today. And looking at the large hail threat, we have a 15% chance of quarter size hail or larger within 25 miles of a location across central southeast Colorado, northeast New Mexico, of the northern Texas Panhandle, northern and central Oklahoma, south central Kansas in the yellow, and a 5% large hail risk of quarter size hail or larger within 25 miles of a location in the brown extending up through Illinois into Chicago and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now, timing out the storms today, uh, we do have an ongoing complex of storms this morning across eastern Kansas, western Missouri, but this is going to weaken and dissipate as we go into uh, the late morning. And then uh, the storms that we're going to be focusing on are going to be developing this afternoon. Uh, we're going to see some initiation likely around 4 o'clock central uh, daylight time across the uh, front range of Colorado and New Mexico, as well as northwest Oklahoma, south central Kansas by 5 o'clock and looks like the storm coverage is going to be pretty isolated today so could be seeing some isolated large hail by 5 6 o'clock across southeast Colorado northeast New Mexico and around the Oklahoma Kansas border and going into 7 o'clock could see more storms firing along the Rockies and going into 8 9 o'clock and this is when we could start to see some more scattered to numerous storms across the Oklahoma Panhandle, central southern Kansas, maybe even into the northern Texas Panhandle, producing some large hail damaging winds, even some isolated tornadoes. And then going into around 10 and 11 p.m., we could actually see an increase in storm coverage during the overnight hours near Tulsa, near uh, Wichita, Kansas near uh, north of Amarillo and going into uh, midnight 1 2 a.m. it looks like we're going to be seeing an overnight mesoscale convective system developing across uh, northwest Oklahoma uh, the Texas Panhandle and the southern Kansas and this is going to move across uh, northern Oklahoma through the overnight Oklahoma City could be seeing some damaging wind gusts by around 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time, as well as Amarillo. So this is going to be a nocturnal storm event across the South Central Plains. So make sure you're on guard for that. Going into 6 and 7 a.m., the storms are going to push into Northeast Oklahoma, Southeast Kansas, and this complex is going to die out across Northwest Arkansas tomorrow morning. So make sure you're on guard for um, some scattered severe weather today. If you live anywhere from Colorado through uh, Kansas, Oklahoma, through Missouri, Arkansas, and Illinois, 
and isolated severe weather all the way across the south and the southeast and Gray Lakes. Uh, thanks for watching today's severe weather update. Stay safe and have a wonderful day, my friends.